Now to Denver, where a Denver attorney is accused of running an illegal short-term rental business. Aaron Elinoff faces serious charges. He is accused of running that short-term rentals out of his home on Raleigh Street. He actually lives in another house, and that goes against city code. Sean Chitton is live now covering the story for us today, and Sean, to make matters worse, he's also accused of lying to investigators. Well, Karen, it's all because of this home right here. This is the one that is listed for that short-term rental. And he said he lives here, which is how it's supposed to be. But according to city staff, he lied on an affidavit about living here. And they invested the case. They found out he actually lives about five minutes away from here at another home. Investigators weren't sure this home on Raleigh Street listed for short-term rentals in Denver was actually where Aaron Elinoff is living even though he said it's his primary residence. According to the district attorney, city staff saw him at this home just five minutes away when he was gardening. He admitted then that he was living at this house. The DA also says he's registered to vote at the home on Tennyson. We've seen a surge in short-term rental operators in the city of Denver, just like you see a surge in other major cities across America. It's a concern for the city of Denver as housing is already a challenge. That's why it requires you to live in the home you list for a short-term rental on sites like Airbnb or VRBO. Next door to them, it'd be a party every night. It's very loud, it's very noisy, and they want the city to step up and help them out. The goal is to avoid letting someone buy up a home and use it for a business to host visitors when residents need those houses for rent. Not only do people complain each week about the noise, they also worry about its impact on the streets they call home. People spend a lot of money for a home in Denver, and when they move into their home, they shouldn't have a party next door every night. Now, that attorney, Aaron Elinoff, did send a statement to us this afternoon saying, this is all a misunderstanding and I vehemently deny any wrongdoing. I'm hoping to clear this up with the district attorney as quickly as possible so that I can focus on my work representing the immigrant community. For now, he is facing a charge of trying to influence a public servant and has a court date set for next week. Live tonight in Denver, Sean Chetness covering Colorado First. All right, Sean, thank you.